let's say, okay, let, let's say that these mid men just don't, are like not getting any women to hook up with. They're having really a lot of trouble getting relationships. So what? Why is that our problem? That sounds like a you problem. Like, it's not our job to gift these men relationships just because sure. they're men. I think that so, you're yes. correct. Well, I think you're correct. Well, yes, yeah. men, men are not owed relationships, but women aren't owed relationships either. And sure. what, what, but what I see happening, what I see happening is because of the, you know, the global sexual marketplace where you, ha where women have far more sexual optionality, women are gonna, women want winners. Like, you wanna, obviously, you wanna get with the best guy that you can get. Here's where I think women can get kind of into trouble. Because men want easy access to sex, women might confuse that with relationship interest, even though a guy who might sleep with you, he will never be in a relationship with you. He might keep you around, he might play some games, or he, some guys will feign like they want commitment, like they want a relationship in order to get sex, but there are definitely women who will also want to just, oh, can somebody fix that? Um, yeah, just push that back. There are definitely women who will accept a guy saying, well, let's just see how it goes. Um, they'll maybe hope that the guy, oh, the guy will say, I don't want a relationship right now. Sometimes men will be very open. They'll just say, I'm not looking for anything serious right now. And the girls will go along with that, hoping in the future mm -hmm. he will want a relationship, but he has zero intention of ever committing to that girl. So, sorry, I'm losing my fucking train of thought. <laughs> but, yeah. but um, Okay, so you're saying that men are not owed relationships. No. I agree. Yeah. Nobody's owed anything, right? But So I but, just, I don't really... But as women, also don't be surprised when the fuckboy that you're dealing with isn't going to commit to you. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, I think that's fair, but like, you know that's why will? I think you should, women should go, if you want like a serious relationship, then go for a guy who wants a serious relationship. Mm -hmm. You can generally, like... I mean, I can't speak for all women, but I feel like I can generally tell when someone's just trying to have sex and when someone is actually interested in you, your hobbies, you as a person, wants to actually be in a relationship with you. I get that there are definitely some guys who might fake that, but like in my personal experience, I haven't really encountered that. And I think that a lot of these issues feel like a really online issue like if you get off social media and dating apps not every single guy is like that in the real world sure of course yeah what, what but, i would what yeah. i would say is like i think a lot of you hear complaints from a lot of women that these guys don't want to commit there's all these fuck boys but that those are the guys that you're chasing after i would argue that the men who are prepared to be dutiful loyal boyfriends who will commit to you are in your friend zone you're just not attracted to them because they're not exciting, they're not X, Y, Z, you know, you often hear this trope of women are attracted to bad boys and jerks and assholes. Women admit it themselves, they like bad boys. They like a guy who's maybe a little exciting. So um, women are often the ones who are picking these men who are either terrible for relationships or who will just point blank never give you any commitment ever. Well, I don't think, but back to like the friend zone thing, if like I friend zone or I think of a guy as a friend, I'm not gonna settle for him if I don't, fully think I could be like in love with him or like he's not friend zone because like oh like he's not cute enough but it's just genuinely because like I just don't think I could see myself with him so I'm not I wouldn't settle if I couldn't find anything else like that doesn't mean I'm gonna go for the necessarily bad boy or like fuck boy but I just wouldn't prefer to settle for someone if I already friend zone them or like I didn't want them well I think the the danger is though and is if women are all chasing after a certain tier of men, mm -hmm. then that tier of men have no, there's no reason for them to commit because they just have easy access to sex. So what you're gonna have like, and also I think this is not all women, but I think a lot of women have an overinflated sense of their attractiveness in the dating marketplace. So you think you're, you might think, oh, I can get, here's the, here's the thing, right? You, you can sleep with a guy and it's very different between men and women. You can sleep with the guy, he'll sleep with you. He will never commit to you. Mm -hmm. So you shouldn't confuse sexual attraction to, with relationship attraction. A guy will sleep with you that will never be in a relationship with you. And that could come down to, could be your personality, could be your looks, because here's the difference, right? For a, I th for a woman to sleep with a guy, he needs to be at least physically attractive enough, excuse me, ex at least, physically attractive enough to be in a relationship with. But a guy will sleep with a girl 
whose physical attractiveness, just on that sole metric, he will never commit to her, but he welcomes the easy access to sex. Yeah, well, if you, like, say, like, oh, girls have easy, like, life on easy mode, like, most girls, like, have an easy way to, like, have sex, that's obviously, like, that's not the girl's issue, that's the guy's issue. Mm -hmm. Like, if, oh, you're complaining about, oh, girls have it so easy, yeah, why do we have it easy? Because of guys. Because you guys will sleep. Because you guys will agree to it, and you will pay for it, you'll fly. Uh Uh-huh, but they won't commit to you, that that's, like, that's what women want, you know, so, yeah, they, they have, like, they have to pursue for sex and they can have it or however they want it you know like but we want commitment like yeah. that's what most women want i yeah. don't think like but anybody's like you know mm-hmm. I, that's what i, I think. agree yeah. i agree yeah i'm not saying that it's right or wrong obviously but like on a baseline level <clears throat> excuse me on a baseline level women are the arbiters of sex mm-hmm. and men are the arbiters Everybody's of relationships I kind of agree with that. So you have to kind of hold it. It's a balance, but you have to hold them accountable. If a man wants sex from you, you have to, um, and you want a relationship out of like your interaction with him, then you have to hold him accountable. He has to show you that he's willing to, you know, check these boxes Mm -hmm. so -hmm. that he can get what he wants in the end game. So you can use sex to, you know, to hold up sex, to, to get him to do all these things for you. At least you have like, you know, you won't be out like in zero if the, nothing goes on in a relationship. Nothing makes me feel worse than, well, I never had a one night stand. Never. It's not my thing. Yeah, well, I Stop feel like. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been in the position too where like I've decided if it's a relationship or not though. So mm-hmm. I think like, yeah, maybe for most people, but I think definitely there is instances where like you like the girl is in, like, in charge and the girl decides because personally oh, for me husband. almost mm-hmm. every single yeah. one of my besides one has been where i've ended things or i've like been the one to say no to being and, like official yeah. and that's okay too yeah you know you can be on your right to not want a relationship with a guy that's, that's yeah that's, that's right like yes that i see the whole woman can be the of sex and men relationships but like that's not as common as people like to make it seem yeah though. i kind of yeah. i kind of do like, actually agree i think honestly uh it's only really the top percent of men that control access to relationships. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would say like for, for normal guys, like it's still like women control women. access to sex and they could control access to relationships mm-hmm. because you can't get, typically for most scenarios, you don't get to the relationship point prior to having sex. Yeah. So if you control sex, then you by necessity control the relationship. Word. Well, just, Word. Yeah. yeah. Word. <laughs> I mean, like, you, like, I'm just saying, like, not giving it out on the, like, the, well, you can. I know that there's relationships that come out, like, of you hooking up the, the first mm-hmm. night. Like, you, you never know, you know? Yeah. And I feel like you can ask the guy, too. You can be like, hey, what do you want? Yeah. You know? And hold him accountable of what he says. Mm-hmm. I will but, just add to the whole, uh, Kiko, we were having a uh, back and forth about, um, what was it? You were saying, ah, oh, even a mid guy could just, you know, go out there, get laid super easily. I mean, I'm not saying if he looks like Lord Farquhar or something, <laughs> that he's going to be just getting going to pound town. But I'm just saying, no, he doesn't have to be some 10 out of 10 Chad mm. with thousands of dollars or millions of dollars in his bank account. No, that's not, unless you're going after Angelina Jolie or something crazy like that. But I think um, what I'm saying is if majority of guys, if they put an effort in, they can always bat a decent average in their own range what, what's a decent yeah. average do you, like do you think an, let me ask you a question do you think an average guy if he went up to 10 women in a night every single night he could get laid yeah i would say if he goes up to 10 so? and le- unless 10? he's picking like the 10 most attractive women in the room but Just if he's picking 10 women comparable. who are comparable, comparable to looks. him he's getting laid that night yeah mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah, I nope. would say. Yeah. I mean, I, it depends. At a club, at a club, yes. Definitely. But, even at a club, but no. not at a club. At least he's not going to get rejected by every single one of them, and there's a possible for those advancing sure. in the future. Okay. All right. But I, yeah. Do, do you know why they call it getting lucky though? That only applies to men. Women, there's no luck involved with when it comes to women getting sex. 